Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so I'm going to type it today, a Polish woven nymph, or at least a version of it. So this is uh, a version that's been brought up to date with some modern materials, but it's um, very much based on some of the original woven nymphs that you've probably seen. It's not an easy fly to tie. Uh, so if you're a beginner to fly tying, I'll probably skip this video. Um, for those who, who have got good thread control, which is really important in, in tying most flies, but in particular in woven nymphs, then uh, give this a go. It's well worth trying. Uh, it gives a really nice effect and it's a very effective pattern. This version I'll tie now has been used in a, a couple of major world European championships, especially when there's been grailing or coarse fish in the venues. Um, so Chubb particularly like this pattern. So it uh, takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. The end result is, is a beautiful looking fly, which is a very effective, so give it a go. Right, so to tie the flight, uh, as you can see in the vise, we've got a, uh, this is a Hanek 450BL hook with a three mil silver tungsten slot of bead on there. And this version of the hook's actually got some preformed lead behind the uh, bead. To give a nice taper profile, add additional weight onto the pattern. Um, if you don't have this type of hook, they're available to buy commercially now. Uh, but if you don't have any, by all means, just use a standard shake hook with a bead and put a little bit of lead behind there and use your thread to create the same taper profile. Uh, do Hiku also do a similar version of the hook, or at least people are making same versions, preformed uh, lead behind a bead on Do Hiku hooks. Uh, so if anyone really wants them and you're struggling to get your hands on some, then uh, just drop me a message and I'll let you know where you can get them. Uh, okay, so the thread I'm going to use is UTC70. This is an olive colour. Um, we we'll need some fluorescent floss for uh, the hotspot, and this is Tommy Fly UV Reflective 19. I need some wire for the rib. This is Hens size 014. It's a green colour, and it's code CWF25 if you want that. Uh, for the woven back, I use this embroidery yarn. This is available from embroidery shops or uh, online. And this is Gutterman, and it's colour code 106. And that's a yellow three strand yarn. For a size 16 hook, I'll only use two out of the three strands, so I'll remove one of the strands out. Uh, run the remaining two strands through your fingers to flatten it out a little bit, which gives a nice finish on the fly. Okay, uh, for the tail, I'll just use some cocktail yarn. Um, and for the hackle at the end, uh, some CDC, uh, it's just standard Venyard CDC stuff, uh, which I'll just create a nice hackle of. And then the underbody is this green flashback, and this is from Sibby. Fine flashback, dark olive. That's the product I'm using for there. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a go. Um, fly in the vise, hook in the vise rather, and um, with some shiny threads like this UTC, it's quite a shiny material, it's quite a slippy material. If you find that your thread is slipping off the lead all the time, if you have got a preformed lead hook, then just rough up the lead a little bit with an old pair of scissors or an old razor blade or a file or something like that, just to give you a grip. Uh, we'll try not to damage the uh, profile. the thread on and we'll attach our tail which is just going to be three or four strands of copy long there we go just tie that in all these turns Pull the tag ends to adjust to the length that you want. I like it around about the same length as the body of the fly. And take the thread back up towards the bead. And we'll cut off the tag ends. Okay, so now we're going to tie in our body materials. And you start by tying in the material that you're going to use last. So in this case, it's the uh, the yarn, the yellow yarn for the black, the back along with the green wire. Or we'll by a strip of the flashback and just cut that into a, a strip of around about two millimeters. Just cut a uh, slight angle there to tie that in. And finally the fluorescent orange yarn for the hotspot, which is the first thing we're going to use. 
So that's secured in with the tail. What I like to do is to grab the fluorescent orange yarn, pull the flash back forward, just take a couple of turns of the yarn and the flash back. Like so the flash back back, get one turn of the yarn in front and secure it in place. And take the thread all the way back up to the end of the bead, slip off and floss. Alright, grab our flashback now. We're going to take that in turns up the body. Put a nice green body on it. And secure that in place. Nice and close. All right, at this point, you want to take a half inch of the thread to secure it in place. A couple of half inches, if you like, and cut off the tag. So you want that out the way when you're doing this weave. Now, with your thread, leave a, a kind of a six inch long tag on the end of your thread. Uh, that'll be important when you're reattaching it to secure in the woven body. Right, so I'm going to adjust the angle of the camera now so you can see from top how the uh, weave takes place and you can follow it as you time. So, now time for the tricky part, the weave. So we've got two elements for this. We've got the yellow yarn and the green wire. Uh, with the green wire in your right hand, keep that over the left hand side of the fly as you're looking at it. So I've got this vice pointing directly at me now. The fly's pointing directly at me. Take the yellow yarn in your left hand Pull it over, pull the green yarn, uh, green wire up, pull the yellow wire, yellow yarn to the right side, wrap the green wire underneath the fly to the other side, pull the yellow yarn across to the left hand side, wrap the green wire underneath the fly to the left hand side, pull the yellow yarn over to the right hand side, wrap the green wire underneath. And just keep going, creating like a zigzag shape on top of the fly. You've got to keep tension on both the yarn and the wire, otherwise, this weave will not work. You can see it's creating a nice zigzag pattern all the way up the fly. Just take the time until you get to the head. And at that point in time, you want to grab both the yarn and the wire in your fingers. You want to throw that loose tag of the fly tying thread between your fingers and pull down so you've got tension on it. Secure it in behind the bead. Pull the yarn and the wire forward and just take a couple of turns of the thread over the top. So everything is secured in nicely. That's the body tied. So let's switch the camera back around to the standard view and we'll finish off the fly. Okay, so straight away what I like to do is to form a double loop with the thread. So that's just a case of the thread, on your two fingers, wrapping the thread around your fingers, pulling it to the length that you want, take a turn in, take a turn behind, and wrap it around once, and that's a nice secure double loop there. Now you want to create a CDC hackle here, so I've just got some CDC already in the Petrojon tool. Cut off the edge. And that. Stick this 
ako po yung Just finished a nice rope of CDC for the buckle. Okay. It turns it around, pull everything back. Pull fives back. Yeah. And we finish off. That's it, a little bit of varnish on the fly, that's it, finished.